It is just past noon and Mary Kidden is preparing porridge for lunch. Mary is among 80 other displaced that are currently living in difficult conditions at a community center in a protection of civilian site in the South Sudanese capital, Juba. She has been here since March when she trekked from Ye. Her husband was killed on the way. A widow now and displaced, she finds it difficult to fend for her four children. Unlike numerous other displaced who have managed to get a place to shelter, Mary is still being considered a newly arrived and she has not been located in the POC area and is not receiving regular food rations nor food items. One of the camp leaders, Guy Katlok, says that those in the camp experience a lot of difficulties, be they newly arrived or long-term residents. The protection of civilian site came about in December 2013 when conflict broke out in South Sudan. Gatlok says the community center is currently hosting 85 new arrivals and they continue to receive displaced people day and night. Recent estimates indicate that 99 displaced were received in the POC sites in Juba on August 16th, with varying numbers arriving every single day. They save when they, they come in, but the other problem, like you hear that uh, they are refing. Refing always happening when they are going to look for firewood. Ahead of the World Humanitarian Day, which is marked annually on August 19th, the United Nations Office for Coordination and Humanitarian Affairs, UN OCHA, has been running a campaign aimed at driving awareness on the protection of civilians. Speaking in the capital Juba ahead of the day, Ian Ridley, the head of OCHA South Sudan, highlighted the theme of the World Humanitarian Day campaign. This World Humanitarian Day, the theme is uh, not a target, and that's to draw attention to the fact that in conflict, uh, civilians, aid workers, uh, warehouses, clinics uh, shouldn't be a target. Uh, there are rules of war, and those rules require uh, all parties to the conflict to respect that civilians are not targets, nor are aid workers, and that's what we want to bring extra attention to. South Sudan has, over the last year, seen clinics destroyed during conflict, warehouses looted, and aid workers killed. Displaced civilians have been victims of sexual violence, and children have also suffered. In his interview, Ridley appealed to those targeting aid workers to stop. Last year on World Humanitarian Day, uh, the number of aid workers that had died since the conflict began in December 2013 was 59. Uh, this year it's, it's 82. So almost two aid workers a month have died uh, while fulfilling their, their duties here in South Sudan. And I, I should point out that they're predominantly South Sudanese, helping their fellow South Sudanese. So of course what we would appeal for is for those people that are targeting aid workers uh, to stop doing that, let them get on with their work uh, in safety and security and respect the fact that humanitarian workers are there not as parties of the conflict but on the contrary to bring humanitarian assistance to victims of the conflict. And as South Sudan's conflict continues with more humanitarian workers putting their lives at risk, insecurity continues to threaten and disrupt the provision of assistance of thousands of displaced, including Mary Kidden, who continue to seek safety and assistance from the United Nations and partners, despite numerous calls for the need to end conflict in the country. Meanwhile, at an event held on the eve of the World Humanitarian Day to mark the day, those present observed a minute of silence, a tribute to aid workers who have been killed in their line of duty or civilians who have been caught in conflict. At the event, invited guests listened to speech after speech, which highlighted pleas on the importance of the work done by humanitarian workers in service of millions of South Sudanese caught in conflict and in need of humanitarian assistance. In 2003, 22 aid workers, 
including the then special representative of the Secretary General to Iraq, Sergio Vieira de Mello, were killed in a bombing at the UN headquarters in Baghdad. Every year on, on August 19th, the World Humanitarian Day has been marked to rally support for people affected by humanitarian crisis and workers who help them.